friends. Oh my gosh. I hope he's okay. So the first day consisted of really basic things, pretty much everything that I've already been practicing. So for me, it was pretty straightforward and easy. And then the second portion of the day, we finished covering some things in the basic rider course. So now I'm going to get into day two. Woo! Day two, or day three technically of the MSF course, but day two of the riding portion and the day that we get tested on everything. I no longer feel nervous. I'm just very excited. Um, yesterday was really fun. I think it was so helpful that I practiced a lot of the drills beforehand before going to the MSF course because I can see why some people might fail it the first time. It's a lot of information in such a short amount of time and you know you're doing one drill after the other. If I were to learn how to shift and how to turn and how to do all these different things in one day, I don't know if I'd be able to do well. The first portion of the day is we're going to be doing more advanced techniques, going over two by fours, I think doing some few turns and stuff like that. And then the next half of that day is we're gonna get tested on the driving portion. And then we have a break for lunch and then we go into the classroom to take the multiple choice test. I didn't know that I had to take the multiple choice test as well. I know there was some classroom stuff, but that does make sense. I just thought since I already had my permit that I would bypass that part, but no, you have to also take the multiple choice test. But our teacher was very straightforward with all the lessons and stuff like that. And he was giving little hints like, this is a very important note. I would, I would write this down. I would make a note of this. So we kind of have an idea of what questions will be on the multiple choice. So I feel very confident about that part. And you're allowed to get, I think, seven wrong and still pass. Wish me luck. Day two was more advanced. We definitely did some exercises that were more difficult, turning at high speeds and how to straighten up before you stop in a curve. We had to go at least 15 miles per hour and then go to a complete stop, like an emergency stop. And then they were going to measure how far of a distance from the stopping point. Then we just basically got quizzed on everything and tested and you go one by one. And the way it works is if you do something wrong during the test, they give you a point. So you're trying to get the least amount of points as possible in order to pass. I think you're allowed to get 16 points 
before you fail. Unfortunately, someone did lay down their bike and I didn't see this happen. It was in the other group with the other instructors, but we did see the ambulance get called and a lot of us in our group were just so concerned. We didn't know how bad of an injury it was or what really went down. And we all took a really long break to make sure that he was okay. It turns out everything was fine. Um, he just laid down his bike and it fell on his leg, I believe. During one of the circuits that we were doing, the course circuits, there was a section where the guy that was already in the circuit was assuming someone was going to come into his lane. And so he slowed down and tried stopping, but he was turning as he was stopping. So he stopped on a curve, didn't straighten out, and the bike just fell over. Thankfully, he's totally okay. He took a really long break, but he was able to come back into the group and continue the course. They did call the ambulance, I think, for protocol, so they didn't need to use it or anything. He was totally fine. And he ended up passing, so that's really cool. But you're all wondering how I did. <laughs> I passed both tests. I did very well. I must say that practicing beforehand for the writing portion did help me a lot. I actually passed that portion with zero points. So I did the best you can do <laughs> for the writing portion. And then for the multiple choice, it was a 25 question multiple choice test and I got one wrong. So I got 24 out of 25. I'm so happy I can finally get my license. And now I feel really comfortable. I did learn a lot and it was really cool to also be in a group setting with other writers as well and kind of share information and talk with them. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me on this journey. I hope that you continue to watch my videos. I hope to post the first time that I'm going to be riding out on the road soon. I know driving out on the road is completely, completely 180 different than riding, you know, in a very secure, empty parking lot with no other obstacles to have to worry about. So it's going to be a completely different riding experience and I'm excited for that, but I'm also trying to be very careful and not rush that so stay tuned for those videos but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time okay so go back <laughs>